Cowabunga, dude. It's Sunday morning. I feel a big hole in my spirit that I don't have a church. It really sucks. Um, I told you guys about my struggles with church and where I was going with Global Vision Bible Church until Greg Locke went off the or until I realized Greg Locke was off the farm. So I was informed that he had, he had lost the plot using a um, term from my, from my British friends. He lost the plot. I'm currently dealing with a problem, a really big problem at my house. We have had a fly infestation for like all summer long. Like everywhere. Everywhere. Flies. And there's no, there's no reason. There's no explanation for the flies at my house. None. There's nothing outside for there to be flies. There's no dead food. There's no rotting food. I haul food every day, and, and we, we, we've been keep, keeping our kitchen cleaner than ever because I've demanded it. Um, I don't get it. I don't understand it. But I want to talk to you about a few things, and I'll see which one pops to the surface first. Everywhere. It's like four I've killed in here in the last three minutes. It makes no sense. I had a story to tell you guys last week. God be quiet. My cat likes sticking his head in plastic grocery bags. Wow. I wanted to tell you guys a story last week, and I didn't want to spill the beans because I wanted to do it correctly, and I don't know how to do it correctly. Doing it correctly is going to take a lot of time. A lot of time and a lot of effort. And I don't have time and I don't feel like putting in effort. Because um, it's a subject I don't want to talk about. Could you imagine a subject that I wouldn't want to talk about? I have noticed. I went back through and I changed the title. The last video I posted. Normally, my videos don't do jack quite. I mean, how do I have 600 and, and listen? I was one. I went to my videos the other day and I looked at the amount of views. And I come off the page to, to edit another video, and I came back to the video, and the video count went down. What? It went from like 600, it went from like 69 views to 68 or 67 views. Boom, 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 boom. But the last video I posted, normally overnight, and I wake up the next day, and especially this is the weekend, so normally it's a little bit better. But the most views I ever get is like 120. How do I have 618 subscribers? You see, and this is how they mess with you. This is how YouTube, psycholo it's a psychological operation with YouTube. First, what they'll do is they'll keep you down. They won't let you have any subscribers. you got to start at zero. And when you watch that counter, it, it is the slowest thing you've ever seen. But then what they'll do is they'll let you get to an amount of subscribers. They'll let you get to it. Whether it's artificial or not, they'll let you get to it. And then they'll cut down your views. So you'll have like 100 subscribers and your views will be like 200 views per video. Then they let you get to 600 subscribers and then they cap your views between 100 and 125. It's a psychological operation. It, it's, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just about tired of it. I posted a video yesterday. I thought it was a pretty good video. I mean, me, me, me being enraged, golly gee, what could be better? Or me being passionate. People don't like passion, apparently. But I go to sleep and I wake up, and, and I'm not ever expecting my videos to do good because they have my channel locked down. My channel's completely locked down. They won't let anybody see it. They won't let anybody comment on it. I, I can change the titles of the videos like he Hero Cop Does Heroic Thing. Nothing. It, it is my channel that they will not let breathe. And it's amazing. I mean, I, I, I'm by no means telling you guys I'm a great YouTuber because I'm not. I could have done a thousand things differently on YouTube, but I didn't. I'm not going to be fake for YouTube. I'm not going to be fake for anything. Now, quality of production, that would really, really help if I, you know, had it, if I could edit and do all that stuff. But it doesn't matter. Even if I get it edited, if they're not letting people see it, it the, the analogy is it isn't, it isn't the amount of votes you have. It's the person counting the votes that matters. 
Well, that's the same thing with YouTube. They're not going to let people see my videos. They're not just not going to let it happen. And I can do a thousand different things for, for YouTube, and it's not going to let. It's not going to do anything. My, I mean, my bed, my greatest video is the. It's like thirty-eight thousand views. It's no longer there because they just they took that channel down. It was uh, the, Mo the, the Molly Motorsports video I did. And everybody, oh, you're just God dead crazy. You're just a meth head. I still got people attacking me over that one. That one got like 38,000 views before they shut the channel down. Um, and then I went through the videos last night. Uh, there were the live streams. It's like, it's like three days in a row, live streams. 3,800, 1,500, 1,400, 2,000. I mean, people on a live stream in the middle of the day. And then they locked it down again. Why? They let you see that, oh, if we would let you speak, people would listen. And I mean, on that day, the, the chat was moving fast and couldn't keep up with it. So I admit, I'm not a YouTuber. I, I, I'm not going to tell you that I suck at it, because I don't. It's just, I'm not going to put any effort into something that's not going to pay me. And they're not going to pay me. I mean, I remember the day, the couple weeks leading up to the uh, 1,500, it was 1,000 subscribers. I was like, oh my God. It's coming, and every day it would grow, it would grow by two, and then four, and then six, and then ten people a day were catching on because YouTube started spreading my video. I'm like, wow! When I get there, I'm gonna make money. And then I get over a thousand. I'm like, yes! And I sign up for the monetization. They're like, oh, well, you haven't generated any enough views for the monetization. So I turned it on anyway. Then I get the 1,400 subscribers, and then they shut my channel down. Without even a warning, without anything. They didn't warn me, they didn't say you did anything wrong. They just shut me down. And then I went through two or three channels at a time where they just, just rocked me. Just nope, nope, you're not allowed to speak here. Because I'd say bad words like COVID or election or you know, stupid stuff like that. So I'm shocked that they let me let me have a channel. There are people online that I don't want to judge anybody else's stuff, but it's a lot worse content than what I'm putting out. And they're making seven, 8,000 views a day. And I'm like, what? And they're just doing impromptu like me. They're not editing, they're not doing anything. And they got views after views after views. And I'm like, what the frick do I have to do to be heard? And that's why I'm telling you. I'm so almost... Look at that. I bust an egg and it come right out onto the stove. That's crazy. We'll just pick it up and shove it back in there. That's why I keep everything clean. Gobby, get out from under my feet! So, it's just... It's, it's, it's just like waking up every morning. And the only good thing that's happened from this channel is the attacking comments don't come as often. It's rare now that I get somebody attacking me. Since I say that, they'll pop them back up. But I guess I block just about everybody that wants to be hateful. So I don't really get those anymore, which is in, it, it's nice, but I don't get any views at all anymore. That's the problem. So without the views, what's the point of YouTube? Now, the, and, the, and the people that are here, God bless you. I appreciate you for praying for me. I appreciate all that, but you don't understand the toll it takes to wake up every day thinking, you know what, maybe somebody's going to hear my voice today. And nothing. 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 If I was in it for the money, that would be one thing. But I'm giving something for free. I'm trying to say, hey, you know, the system's corrupt. What's going on is corrupt. America is falling, and I'm screaming, and I'm warning, and YouTube's like, nope, you can't say that. But not only that, YouTube shows, shows me if people share my videos. And the people that are my, my most loyal watchers won't even share a video. I mean, I appreciate your comments. I appreciate you praying for me. I mean, that's 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 priceless. But you want to share a video? I'm thinking, what, what, what is so hard about sharing a video? It's like, you want my voice all to yourself? Well, that's kind of selfish. I mean, if, if, if what I'm saying is worthwhile, then why wouldn't you share it to somebody else? Are you scared that they're going to think that you have my opinion? I mean, put a disclaimer on the front of that. You're not indoors or... Or uh, these are not the views of the channel supplier. Because there's a thousand things you can do on YouTube that don't cost a thing. You can post videos. You can share videos. You just push the share button and share it on your on your channel, on your on your YouTube channel. Or you can push share and share it on your Facebook if you have a Facebook. 
there's a thousand different ways that the, that people on here could could help. It's just like the people that like my videos won't even push the like button. I mean, I know I got six or seven people on here that that I mean, if you don't like what I say, well, then why you're here? But if you like it, why won't you just take the second? It's literally one second to push the thumbs up button. But I can't even get people to do that. And I appreciate it every time saying you, 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 you pray for me and all that. That's great. But if it's an impossible task for me to do this, then why am I doing it? Because you don't understand the stress I have to go through, the things in my life that I have to hide for fear that, God forbid, somebody knows some things in my life that could be, that, that, that if found out could really be a detriment to my life, the ones I love. I mean, I'm not near as loud and boisterous as I used to be, but that gum, what does it take? Are the American people just so fed up with it? And, and that's about me. If I watch a video, I'm commenting on that video. Why? Because I'm loud and obnoxious and I want people to know what I say. But that's the only way I got to talk. I, there's no one in this house that I get to talk to. None. None. I, I, I might say, I might get two sentences a day in this house. So nobody in the world listens to me at all. I can't even go on the internet where there's what, 30 or, or what, how many billion? 15 billion people in the world and I get six comments. 15 billion and I can't even get those people to talk to me? And then I watch these other you these other channels. Targeted individual channels. I will never understand that these people aren't putting out any content. They just sit there and oh look, look this, oh, oh look this, this. And I'm like, what the heck are you doing? And, and they're getting like 800, 900 views? Really? So if you're a targeted individual, ask yourself, why does YouTube let you watch their videos? Why does YouTube let you see these other targeted individuals, but they won't let you see me? And that doesn't filter in your equation that, hey, something's up. Why, is, why are they silencing targeted citizen more than they're silencing every other targeted individual? Why are they silencing you more than anybody? No, we don't, we're not going to think that far ahead. We're not going to put that much effort into thinking about it. So either the people don't want to hear what I say, or YouTube doesn't want to hear what I say. And I don't know. I'm the type of guy that, that thinks like this. If the powers that be don't want me to hear what somebody's trying to say, I'm going to do my best to find out what they got to say. But no, not on my channel. So in other words, every morning I get up, it's the point that no one here listens to me. No one in this house talks to me. No one in my atmosphere has a thing to say to me unless they want me to do something for them. And then I get on a, 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 a device with 10, 15, 20 billion people and six people. Six people out of 15 billion communicate with me. That makes you realize how freaking worthless you are. And I don't need help feeling worthless. This ain't even what I was going to say. But what the hell? It doesn't matter, does it? Doesn't matter what I say. And am I going to hear it anyway? I can go back through and edit every other one of the words in the title. Still, ain't going to go nowhere. You don't know. You don't understand how corrupt YouTube is. And, and you know what sucks about it is? These channels like Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson has the biggest podcast in the world. The biggest in the world. He is a multi-millionaire. I'd say Tucker Carlson is probably worth $20 million by now. $20 million. And he censors what he says so YouTube doesn't demonetize a video. See, but the... the, the the people people think if you say something wrong, oh, that's a strike if you say something wrong. No, 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 no. They just demonetize it so you can't make money on that one video. That's it. Now, we're in the political sphere now, and things, things are a little different than it was. But 
That's it. They just say, well, we're not going to pay for this video. You mean Tucker Carlson can't afford for one video not to be monetized? Oh, golly gee, we're going to lose that revenue. What will we ever do? We're, we're, they're going to take the shop. It's like other YouTubers I've watched. I watch a lot of car content because I'm a car guy. There's a guy named Mike Finnegan from, uh, he used to work for Hot Rod Magazine as an editor. And he's got a show on TV called Roadkill Garage where him and uh, David Freiberger, they'll, they'll go to a state and they'll buy a real junk car and they'll try to drive it somewhere and then it breaks down the whole time they're driving. Well, he opened up his own YouTube channel after that because everybody's like, oh, we want to, we want to listen to him. It is now. And, and this dude's got like, I think he's got like 20 cars. We're talking some of the race cars are worth half a million freaking dollars. And he can't, and he's the guy that, that buys the best, buys the greatest, the newest stuff out, and he never can get it to work. So he's got all these vehicles and all this stuff, and then he's so freaking lazy, the only content he wants to put out is him opening up mail. Because it's easy, and all he's got to do is turn the camera on. He didn't want to just take his money and pay an editor. Well, then he gets an editor, and now he's got a guy working for him just does editing. And it is like, it's like sitting in sixth grade science class. Look, we're going to, we're going to weld this. Oh, we've got a new sponsor of the channel today. They're going to give me a brand new welder. So I'm going to weld with this brand new Miller welder. This Miller 5.4 Magnum dot 12 quadrant welder. Look at me go, look at me. Uh, yeah. The most boring video. 200,000 views. He doesn't stand for anything. And not even, not even won't stand for anything. Won't even dabble a half a mile near the line of controversy. Nope. Too scared. How is it you're a millionaire and you're scared of what people think. So here's the question. If that's, if that's the average, honest, if that's the average American where they're a millionaire and they're scared of what someone thinks, how can America survive? I mean, I appreciate, I mean, there's another channel, Cletus McFarlane. He, he's a race car guy. He got his very, the very first video he ever put out, he was drunk, standing beside a race car, and he went, Hell yeah, brother! That's all this kid did. He's an editor, he does editing. Hell yeah, brother! Drunk. That's all he did. And now he's one of the largest YouTubers on the planet. I mean, it's entertaining content. Every time it comes on, I watch it. It's funny, it's hilarious. I can, I can relate. It's, 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 they're going, they're going, doing cool stuff. I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome. But you'll never hear political affiliation. You'll never... I mean, it's rebel flag... I mean, it's, it's America flags everywhere. America, freedom, yeah, freedom, bald eagles, and blah, 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 blah. But there's no stand. There's no, hey, we're getting ready to lose the country. The people with the largest platforms in the world... I mean, I've seen it to the point where people come visit Cleese McFarland's... He, he's got his own racetrack. He's got his own freaking racetrack. Okay, he bought a, a YouTuber bought a racetrack right beside of a drag strip. He buys this. One YouTuber shows up in a Lamborghini that says Trump on the side, and they made sure to film, either film or edit, just the windshield of this Lamborghini showing this Lamborghini, so Donald Trump's name wouldn't be on it because that would be offensive. And an analogy comes to mind. You ain't got nothing to lose. You can say all you want. Ain't nobody going to listen anyway. But then we've got the people with the biggest voices in America who are never going to lose their empire. They're not doing stu stupid stuff like Bud, White, like Bud Light and like Harley Davidson. They're not going, what, going broke. They're just not going to say a word. They're going to let... And, and, and do they think... I mean, it makes, it makes me wonder... In the time they're off screen, do they even talk about what's going on in the world? How bad it really gets? Or is it... See no evil, hear no evil, say no evil. You ain't got nothing to lose, Target Citizen. What does it matter? Got nothing to lose because they've taken it off. I didn't have anything to say before until they took it off. I didn't realize how corrupt America was until they took it off.
But then you'll have those who say, oh, well, it didn't take nothing from you. You never had nothing. This is not what I was going to say. So I end the video with the, my only squash of the year.